Welcome back. In the previous video, we saw why Ansible is important and why you should learn it. In this video, we are going to learn how Ansible actually works, what happens under the hood, what is control node, what is managed node, how does the connection between the control and managed node takes place, and a theory about Ansible. So stick to this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to install Ansible. So let's start. So let's learn how Ansible actually works. I have wasted many pages explaining you this. So please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please subscribe to my channel because I have wasted a lot of pages. <laughs> so let's start. So actually, you will have a single server or the main server which will configure all of our different servers. So this is known as controller node. And this is the main server where you will be actually installing your Ansible. And the this server is going to configure all the other servers and this can be anything and they are called as managed host so you're going to install ansible on this controller node and this controller node has to be linux you cannot install ansible on windows so this has to be linux instance or linux server and let's start with the theory the first one is it is agentless what do you mean by agentless you don't have to install anything on the managed host uh, unlike chef and puppet in chef and puppet you have to install agent so they can pull things from the controller node so this is agentless and ansible is also push based mechanism as you don't have any agent you're not going to pull anything the controller is going to push the task on the managed host so it is pushed based mechanism right let's take an example of the same web server so you want to install apache web server on all of this managed host what you will do is you have installed ansible on the controller node now you will define a set of task so you will define you want ansible you want to install apache on this so you will define the set of task this is called as playbook so playbook is a file which contains the set of tasks to be executed on the managed host and how will the controller node uh, understand on which host they want to execute so it will be configured using a file which is called as inventory or the host file this inventory will consist of the all the IPs of the managed host so if you want to add more host you can you just need to edit the inventory file you need to add it or if you want to cancel it you just need to remove the IP from the inventory file this is how actually Ansible works the connection between the controller and the managed node happens using SSH so controller node creates SSH key pair which is then transferred to managed host and if the key pair is there the connection is established after the connection is established the playbook is executed on all the hosts whose IPs are present in the inventory file right so it also uses ssh or python you can use python scripting for advanced advanced configurations so this is how actually ansible works controller node is used for installing ansible for creating playbooks and for creating inventory file and it checks the inventory it connects the managed host using ssh connection and it performs all the task so this is how ansible can be used to configure thousands and hundreds of servers with just a single command used to run a playbook so i hope you understood the video and you got the idea how ansible works so in the next video we are going to install our ansible we are going to install ansible on our linux ec2 instance so please like to this video and subscribe to this channel and have a good day